This is 433, and what we're looking for in this problem is the Thevenin equivalent. Thevenin equivalent as seen by the 7 ohm resistor. So you can imagine that this terminal is A and B. And what we're looking to find is the resistance, the Thevenin resistance here, as well as the Thevenin voltage. So to solve this, let's first uh so we're we're actually supposed to find also the current flowing through the 7 ohm resistor so also the current through this 7 ohm resistor so i'm just going to draw the circuit opening up here our terminals so we have a and b here 13 ohms, 30 ohms, and have our 240 volt and 60 ohms. So we're looking for the Thevenin equivalent from these, the from looking from these two terminals, these two terminals here. So how do we do it? Well, the first step is to turn off all independent sources right here. So we have an independent source. So we're gonna turn that off. That's a voltage source. So it becomes a short circuit, short circuit right here. And now we find the Thevenin resistance from here. So where do we start? Well, this, these two nodes are connected. So 30 and 60, these two are in parallel. They're in parallel. So if we take those in parallel, we have 60 times 30 divided by 60 plus 30. So that is 180 divided by 90. It looks like that is... 90 well uh 1800 1800 divided by 90 that is 20 ohms 20 ohms and if we do that we can then let's just erase all this here and simplify this circuit and now we have a 20 ohms here and we can add these two together for because they're in series and we have the Thevenin resistance which is equal to 33 ohms 33 ohms there so we found the Thevenin resistance but now we have to go on to the next step the next step is to turn on the the independent sources turn on the independent sources and then solve the problem for the open voltage here so here we're going to go back to our original circuit and this is 240 volts and we have our resistances resistances so we have 30 ohms here, 60 ohms up here, and 13 ohms here. And what we are looking for is the voltage, the Thevenin voltage between these two points. Okay. All right. So let's call this our reference voltage. That will be zero volts. And this point is then 240 volts because this is 240 volts. What is the voltage here? Well, if we do, we must take a look and see how much current is flowing this way. What is the current flowing this way? It is actually zero because it's open here so no current is flowing 
this way. So all of our current comes from here down, all of it. So we can use our voltage divider to find this voltage here. And that voltage, this voltage, we'll call it V1. V1 is equal to 30, that's this resistor, divided by 30 plus 60. This is voltage divider times our 240 volts, 240 volts there. And that comes out to be, let's see, is that one third, one third? So V1 is 80 volts. So this is equal to 80 volts. 80 volts there. So what is our Thevenin voltage then? Well, if this is 80 volts, no current is flowing through here, so no voltage drop across this resistor. There is no voltage drop. So this is also 80 volts. So our Thevenin voltage is 80 volts. 80 volts. So V Thevenin is 80 volts. So if we redraw this circuit, we have our Thevenin voltage, which is 80 volts. And then we have our Thevenin resistance, which is 33 ohms. And we have our two terminals, A and B. So this is an equivalent circuit, an equivalent circuit. They are equal. This is equal to this circuit here. Now it wants us to find the current the current flowing through the seven ohm resistor. So if we go down and we find, we put in seven ohms here, and we are looking for the current I. And we know that the current I here must be equal to the voltage, 80 volts, divided by the resistance, which is 33 plus seven, 33 plus seven. So the current here is two amps, and that is the current through the seven ohm resistor. 